the final thing about this Duke game, and I just love this. It, this oh, made, this is the uh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Come yeah, on, oh, the best part. When this is when you know you are a legitimate conversation piece in college basketball. When the Duke, I guess, athletic office this, or this is the athletic director had to that. send out a notice to season ticket holders, essentially, and correct me if I'm wrong, Austin, saying, Hey, uh, y'all sold way too many of your tickets to these Auburn fans, and they showed up and showed out, and it put us in peril. Uh, so am I leaving anything out of the story? Is that essentially the essence of it? No, I mean, he basically, we're not going to read it verbatim, but he basically sent out an email to season ticket holders saying, um, that's unacceptable. And, and that is not how we do our Duke basketball home games. Yep. Uh, said there were way too many Auburn fans and, and just, I mean, you can't tell me that enough. That is just, that's just something feed it I to me. just feed it to, <laughs> feed it to me, me uh, so much. That is not something I guarantee you Duke fans are having to get many emails of. Um, I, I was with my dad the night of the game and he has a, a group text from a, a bunch of friends in college. Um, and they were getting, they were sent, a couple of them were there and yeah. were sending texts and saying, it's a pretty good atmosphere. This is legit, all this stuff. And I said, ask him what, like a percentage, like what's the percentage of Auburn fans. And, and one of them sent back pro- probably 15%. Maybe that's a little conservative man though. When you, they got out to 13 two, you could hear it. And I, I, I can only imagine, I wish we had like a, like you know that when Auburn football does the the picture at yeah. half, at midfield and it's like you can zoom in and find yourself. Yeah, I wish we had that of the exact moment when it was thirteen two, but I could find the Duke athletic director and the <laughs> Auburn cro- crowd is roaring. I bet he's just sitting there like, he's, he's "What human, is happening? Man. You've got to like, be kidding me." This is an emba- this is an embarrassment because he's typing up the email right then. Right. Well, it's an embarrassment because if you're going to grandstand as a blue blood and say Auburn doesn't belong in the conversation, we then prove it. You did you did it on the court by beating us in your home court. That credit to you there. But don't sit here and say that the fans don't have a reason to say that our program by competition level, but also fan support doesn't deserve to be in this conversation. You just proved it. Your athletic director had to send out a notice, a memorandum of understanding to the whole company, essentially. And boy, did they get to talk into essentially. It it was great to see. And I'm sure coming into the year, you know, let's be honest, the Duke Duke people are probably not looking at Auburn in the way we're looking at Duke. Rightfully so. They've got the history and all this, but man, Coming after that Maui game, I wonder if some of them are like, oh, did did we already sell those tickets? That we should we should have not have done that. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, you know, be careful sometimes. And, and Auburn fans, remember this one day you were selling out everything. Richmond today was another sellout. So let's keep it up. Let's keep the, you know, let's not have our athletic have to send out. No, <laughs> hey, notices. we'll we'll come take over an arena though. We will. We listen. What have we always said here on this show? If you put Auburn somewhere, Auburn people will show up. I don't know if we're talking about Cameron Indoor, we're talking about a bowl game, if we're talking about a semi pro basketball thing, and people are going to go crazy for it because you put Auburn on and you put yep. Auburn people together. Bring Auburn and you will make some money. That's the point we're trying to make here. Or well, I guess they made money, the Duke people that sold their tickets because they, that was, that was, they, uh, they made quite a bit of money. Based hey. on what I was <laughs> do, you th- do you think they're probably like, yeah, you can send all the emails you want to me. I made a pretty, pretty penny yeah. on this. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs>